It's like this. It's like this. Who's my Jesus today? Let me see Jesus. Tucker, come here. You look, you look like Jesus. Come here. That's good. You stay there. There's Jesus. Get your eyes on Jesus. Get the camera on Jesus. Fix, fix your eyes on Jesus. Everybody fix your eyes on Jesus. Now, Jesus is being taken away. And this is Peter. Okay, everybody got the picture? This is Peter. This isn't, I'll go to death with you. You ain't taking my God. No, 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 no. It got hard. It got challenging. Why is Jesus allowing himself to be arrested? Why isn't he fighting back? This is, this is the Savior. This is the guy who's going to overthrow the army. Why am I? Nope. Where's, the, where's Peter? Let's, thanks, thanks, Jesus. All right. And when, they, and when they had kindled a fire, can you guys kindle a fire for me? Because Peter's sitting down there. Just kindle a fire right there. That's good. Thank you, Keith, for participating, showing your family, leading your family well. He kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together. Peter sat among them. You got the picture? Jesus is like, I don't know, right here. And Peter is sitting around a fire at a distance. Then a servant girl seeing him as he sat in the light around the kindled fire looking closely at him, said, pointing at Peter, this man also was with him. What does Peter do? Oh, yeah, that's my Jesus. He denied it, saying, woman, I do not know him. A little later, somebody else said, you are also, you do know Jesus. You're his disciple. I saw you. You've been with him. You're you're him. Peter said, man, I'm not. Can you see? Can you feel it? I'm not. I don't know this guy. Stop. You're going to get me in trouble. And after an interval of about an hour, don't forget, Jesus being abused, mocked, ridiculed, and Peter is watching. I'll go to prison. I'll, I'll fight for you. I'll never turn my back on you. I'll always be for Jesus. Peter said, or sorry, this man insisted saying, verse 59, certainly this man also was with him, for he too is a Galilean. But Peter said, he's frustrated at this point, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know this guy. You, I wish y'all would stop saying that. I'm just here for entertainment. And immediately, While he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord Jesus turned and looked at Peter. He could see him, and Peter could see him. And Peter remembered the saying of the Lord, how he had said to him before the rooster crowed today, you'll deny me three times. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And I want to be mad at Peter, right? All of us are like, I would never do that. We're talking about Peter, y'all. I mean, Christ, Jesus Christ has said, Peter, you my guy. You're the leader of my disciples. Go out and build this church. This is Peter. I, I, we don't compare to Peter. We're missing the mark. And we like to sit here and go, I would never deny Jesus. I would never do what Peter did. But listen, when when we're hurt, when we don't understand what's going on, when it doesn't look like Jesus is who he said he is, or it doesn't feel like God, or we got people coming against us saying God's not real, this doesn't make sense, why would you believe this, how could he allow this to happen, just give in to this, when we got that going on, Fear, pain, insecurities. Don't tell me we don't do this. Peter watched Jesus allow himself to be bound 
and arrested. Jesus is the king. He's supposed to be the guy who is the Messiah, the one they've been waiting on. And I've given my life, and it doesn't look like he's going to make it. I thought Jesus cared. I thought he was the one who was going to overthrow. And in a moment of doubt, in a moment of disappointment, Peter distanced himself. So much that he denied Jesus. Listen to me. When your life is filled with doubt and disappointment, it's easy to distance yourself from Jesus, which will lead to denying him. 